Ever wondered how a tiny sensor can detect your heartbeat just by touching your finger? Let's dive into the science behind the heart rate sensor with Arduino. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The pulse sensor is a well-designed low-power plug-and-play heart rate sensor for the Arduino. Anyone who wants to incorporate real-time heart rate data into their work, students, artists, athletes, makers, and game and mobile developers, can benefit from it. Let's see the components in heart rate sensor. The front of the sensor, with the heart logo, is where you put your finger. You'll also notice a tiny circular opening through which the Kingbright's reverse-mounted green LED shines. Just beneath the circular opening is a small ambient light photo sensor, APDS 9 Theozone 8 from Avago. This sensor is similar to the ones used in cell phones, tablets, and laptops to adjust the screen's brightness based on the ambient lighting conditions. On the back of the module are an MCP6001 op amp from microchip and a few resistors and capacitors that make up the RC filter network. Additionally, there is a reverse protection diode to prevent damage in the event that the power leads are accidentally reversed. The module requires a DC power supply ranging from 3.3 to 5 volts and draws less than 4 mA of current. Let's see the pin out of pulse sensor. VCC is the voltage input pin, connects to 3.3 or 5 volts. GND is the ground pin. Signal is the analog output signal from the sensor. You connect it to an analog input pin on the Arduino, such as A0. The best part is that this sensor plugs right into Arduino and easily clips onto a fingertip or earlobe. It is also super small, button-shaped, and has holes for sewing into fabric. Did you know? Pulse Sensor is an open-source device developed by PulseSensor.com. They began in 2011 as a Kickstarter project. As of 2013, 491 backers had pledged $18,418 to help bring this project to life. How does a pulse sensor work? Have you ever shined a flashlight through your fingers and noticed how you can see your heartbeat? This is the same idea behind how pulse sensors work. A pulse sensor works by shining a green light onto a thin part of your body, like your fingertip or earlobe. These areas are perfect because the skin is thin enough for light to pass through easily. When the light travels through your skin, some of it gets absorbed by your blood and the rest bounces back. The pulse sensor has a special part called a photodetector that measures how much light returns. This process has a big name, photoplethysmography, PPG, which just means measuring changes in blood volume using light. Here's what happens. Your blood contains a protein called hemoglobin that carries oxygen around your body. When hemoglobin is carrying oxygen, called oxygenated hemoglobin, or HBO2, it absorbs more green light. Each time your heart beats, it pumps fresh, oxygen-rich blood into your finger. Since this blood has lots of oxygenated hemoglobin, it absorbs more light. This means less light bounces back to the photodetector. Between heartbeats, there's slightly less oxygenated blood in your finger. So less light gets absorbed, and more light reaches the detector. This means the photodetector can pick up tiny changes in the amount of light reflected with each heartbeat, creating a wave-like pattern that matches your heartbeat. The signal from the photodetector is typically small and noisy. To make it better, the signal passes through an RC filter that cleans it up. Then, it goes through an operational amplifier, op, amp, to make the signal much larger and easier to detect. Why green light? Green light works great because hemoglobin absorbs it well, making it good at showing blood flow changes during each heartbeat. Also, green light is less affected by ambient light compared to red or infrared light, so it has less noise in the signal. Wiring a pulse sensor to an Arduino. Wiring of a pulse sensor is shown in below image. So I hope you have learned something new today. Your support means the world to us. Hitting that like and subscribe button keeps us inspired to create more awesome videos, so don't forget to show some love. Let's aim for 1000 likes for this video. Thanks for watching.